In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload and install a theme that you bought from a website like ThemeForest. So uh, the first thing we want to do is download it to our computer. So we go to the download section. And this could be any theme from any other website, but this is just generally how you do it. Then you press download. And I have to move this window. Alright, and it's actually a pretty big file, so we are going to pause this video for a second and uh, come back to it when it's finished downloading. Alright, so the file has downloaded, now I'm just going to drag it to my desktop. And let me minimize this window. And this file was much bigger than they usually are. They're usually only 9 megabytes, 8 megabytes. This was 58 mega megabytes. So let's just unzip it though and see what is inside of it. All right. Now we have this theme and we open it up. And we can click here. And we see all the theme files. Now, most of the time, you'll see a zip file here. It'll just be a zip file, and that's what you upload. But if you don't, then it might be useful to take this and compress it. Uh, it'll say make a zip file in Windows, I think, or in Mac, it'll say compress. So we just compress it. All right, now once we have compressed it, let's go back to our uh, let's go back to our dashboard and go to appear uh, go to appearance themes and install themes and upload. And we choose file and we see the zip that we just made. And most of the time you can just find this zip in here and you don't need to zip it. So, but we needed to zip it because it wasn't in there and just press open and press install now. Now it's going to take a little while again to upload right over here. So we're just going to wait for that. And now the theme was installed successfully, so let's activate it. And once we activate it, we can see that it is here and activated. And if we go to our home page, we'll see that a new theme is there, but it's not set up perfectly because we need to now go to the theme documentation and we need to read up on it and that might be in this file or it might be uh, wherever you downloaded it just to look at the documentation and that is how you install a theme I hope it helped and if you have any questions go to my website knewton.com and thanks for watching